Hello Libra and welcome to Horoscope. Yeah. So um so I mean, you know, Friday, today, and tomorrow, those are the last where you have to really be like looking over your shoulder going, Okay, what what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Um you've landed. You know, Mercury's already in your first house. Sun goes in your first house Saturday night. So you get to go assume the throne, so to speak, and um, make things better. If you bring so many good loving touches, services, you're so good at working with people, you're so good at arranging things, you're so good at balancing books, all of these wonderful Libra attributes will take center stage. Um, you're also going to have some wealth come to you because of um, Jupiter and Venus being in your second house. That's going to improve things. It's not going to hurt. And um, yeah, you're getting some hits from Saturn and from um, the other guy, Pluto, you know, that, that are pretty serious because they've been squaring your sun, depending on, you know, which part of Libra your sun's in. So there's a lot of tension to have to change, to have to deal with hardship. And, you know, but you can act on that and you can do it in a graceful way. And Mars is supporting you with your actions because it's in the fifth house. So it's giving you a sense of grace in movement and a grace in confronting things that just sometimes need to be confronted. You know, if your kids are acting up, being disrespectful towards you, you don't deserve that stuff, you know. So you can bring it in a good way. And um, you got to work on health issues a little bit with Neptune's transit of your sixth house. Just take better care of yourself. Um, anything can happen. That's what I would say socially. How about the, the full moon? Well, it's romantic. You know, it's in your seventh house. So it could be ooh la la. So if the lust factor is there and you're balanced with your mate, something good's going to take place. Something, something special, something positive. 